just doing a winter update um, I'm going to have a look at uh, the projects that we've got on for this year what we did last year uh, just to update um, what's going on here um, as you can see uh, the snow on the ground it's, uh, we're getting about minus 6 at night so nothing's happening in the garden um, but strangely enough this is the, the time when you'd probably work most on uh, prepping uh, for the year's growth I've bought seeds in already um, and we're getting but it's, it's not really looking like we're ready to go yet the ground is hard as rock um, okay uh, last year uh, I'll, I've got a video up of last year um, we pulled down a uh, polytunnel it's been up for about 10 years and to be honest uh, growth was vegetable growth was okay but it wasn't nothing great so what I've done what I, did, I started last year was to um, strip back everything everything was, was uh, demolished and we went right back to the all, all the land all this garden was cleared and um, we've just added uh, about eight ton of uh, well rotted manure so what, I've, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right away back from scratch and let you know let you guys know uh, how I get on let's have a look at what we did last year okay this is the uh, polytunnel that's coming down uh, we've kind of made a start already I've cleared the back out the new dome is going to go back here up closer to the fence uh, so all of this is going to come down I'll just get a better view down to minus six uh, every night for the last week really the poor ducks are suffering uh, come on have a, come on babas let's have a look at you I can probably walk out and see you they don't like it let's have a look Oosh. it's quite deep this pond in fact so if I go in I'll go up to, up to my waist so I'm not going out too far That's the only bit of the uh, pond that's not frozen. I'm going to have to smash some holes or something. I also got... Just as well, I think, because it would have bust otherwise. Even the uh, infinity ponds frozen. I could probably walk in that, to be honest. Watch this. Absolutely solid. This is that after a week. The, the, some, we've had some melt, but it's um, freezing at night, so it's not going anywhere fast. 
okay I've come out the cold uh, to tell you about this year's project uh, I did what most people do was take a piece of ground stick a greenhouse on it uh, dig up the ground and stick the plants in uh, I had I had a polish on like that for about 10 years um, and then I decided because obviously I build domes I'm going to have a dome greenhouse um, on the site uh, but crops I've done a bit of research on the internet and crops were my crops were hitty miss some were good some were not so good um, so what I decided to do was scrap everything and go right the way back to the beginning as if it was a new project hey, kitten. I don't need you. Um, yes. Uh, so, um, I bought a few bits and bobs for this year. Uh, you'll see in that last year I cleaned the site. Um, so, if you were um, wanting to start a greenhouse or build your own dome, I think the first step is to get your soil right. So, with that in mind, I have bought a few knickknacks. I got one of these, which is it tests for moisture, pH, um, four things, light, uh, the amount of light, and one other thing, what would be, oh, um, soil temperature, uh, and how wet and dry your soil is. Uh, I'm not sure that that's any good, to be honest. I've heard that they're not that accurate. I went round my soil uh, a couple of days ago, and it looks like it's acid. Uh, it's all towards the acid end. Some of it was super acid, about 4.5 uh, on the pH scale, which is really, really serious. Added. So it's no wonder that I wouldn't grow anything. So what I got as well was I got soil pH tester. I think that's going to be more reliable. And it also does K1, N1, and P, P1 and pH. So I can test for nutrients as well. So uh, what I'm going to do first is um, test uh, the soil, get the soil right. Um, I, I cultivated it last year um, and I added, uh, this winter, I added about 8 tonne of um, well rotted manure. So we'll look, we'll, it's at least a start on getting the soil right. Uh, I've also looked at uh, biochar. Uh, you can do a search anywhere on the internet if I know that. That's an interesting um, thing to look at. And um, mushroom, the symbiosis between mushrooms and um, plants. So I've got a mushroom kit cooking away in the dome. Uh, I'm growing wine cap mushrooms uh, because they're supposed to have uh, a benefit on uh, your vegetable growth and the vegetables are supposed to assist the mushrooms. So uh, I'm going to maybe plant that down between the rows um, and uh, that's a pretty much the, the plan for, for this coming year. Probably if I get time I'll try and get a greenhouse up. So you'll be able to see that. So if you're interested in seeing how my growing projects, my mushrooms, the uh, soil testing goes, uh, the biochar, um, just uh, subscribe how you normally do. Um, and later on in the year, I'll uh, have some more updates. I'm also looking at building and designing um, the next size up in dome. We've been doing things up to maybe nine meters. So we're going to go up from up to 12, 20 meters. Uh, so keep an eye out that in the, in, uh, in the plans department. Um, and we're, uh, we're going to try and see if we can uh, maybe even build one of those this year. Um, but uh, good luck with your gardening everyone and um, I'll keep you posted.